Hi ladies, it is 11 minutes past three on Easter Friday, Good Friday. And I said I would one day get and do a craft video. This won't be too long um, because I've got, you know, I don't want to do it and have it quiet and not talk. But this is my paper towel. This is a new one I started this week. Now, to do this, it's built up in section layers, starting from the furthest away from you to start. So let me just get the pictures out. Um, there is another word for this, like, that some call it, and that's decoupage. But it's... Um, I'm trying to get my camera right. I can't get it right. So you can see what I'm doing. Get that off. Do I need to come further in? Where do I put my name? The picture's right over there. Hold on a moment. I'm still worth testing this tripod. Oops. See, if I get it right like that, then the tripod tips over. And yet that's just quite right there like that. How can I stop the tripod from tipping over? Hold on. Come on, Diane. Improvise. <laughs> How's that? I've stuck it in a, a box. It's got some of my spray paints in. That's better. Right. So before we start these, we have an original picture. Now this... Ooh, come back down, Di. Bring it back down. This is the original picture to start. So, when you buy these paper towel kits, you usually get four, five sheets, six at the most, to do it. But we do it that detailed now that we end up getting or anything from 12 to 15 copies done. What we do is we get the original and we take it to a photocopier and we get it photocopied like this and we get it done I've still got to get some more of this done um, this one I think I might use about 12 or 13 sheets um, this is one that was pre-copied that um, Mari, our tutor, had in a bag that she says, come on Diane, do this one nobody's doing it and I hadn't got anything to do, so I said, yeah, okay. I do have one already done in this series. I showed you another one that I finished the other week. That's the same series. So, yes, so I said, okay, I'll do it. So, what I had to do first, these are all my sheets. Here's all my sheets. Loads and loads of sheets, all here. So my first cut that I did, I wanted the sky, the sky in. So my first cut was this bottom one. And out of this, I cut that piece. If you look, it will fit there if it was put back. So that was my first cut that I took out of the picture. And then, before I put it onto the page, I uh, put the cloud, the blue clouds I pressed inwards, 
and the white clay as I turned over and pressed outwards, which then should hopefully give an illusion of the sky, of the clouds. And then it is stuck on with a, a what is it, acrylic glue? I'll show you it in a minute. So when I put it on, it doesn't go flat onto the board, but I'll show you what I have to do because in a minute, but then I glue it on. Now looking at the original picture, behind all the trees is that little house. Can you see it? I think you can. Am I looking at the right side for you? Yeah, there's a little house. So I had to do that first. So, come on, come on. Let me get it to maybe I'll get it too close. Oh, difficult to know where these things go, isn't it? Oh, I think that might be. But that little house there, I cut out first. Now I had to cut out. How did I do it? I cut out that whole thing, but when you cut out with paper towel, let me get a pointer. You don't cut exactly on the thing. What you do is to get that little house there, I cut, I cut the two roofs out like that. But then I went over into the trees, come down, down into the rest of everything, through these trees, back and up. So that gave me a piece, that piece plus the outside of that picture. Because when you put that on, your next piece, after I'd done the house, I did the telegraph pole, put that on. But then I cut round that tree. Now it doesn't have to be cut perfect because we put flower soft on our trees. So any mistakes get hidden, it doesn't matter. But when I cut the tree, you'll see I came down onto the shed again so that there's it drops into the shed. Same here, when I cut these trees out, I cut them all out, but then I went down here. All this is overlapping into the picture. So that's as far as I've got. So I thought, well, I'll just spend a little bit of time on it and um, show you exactly how I do it. Now, I'll just put those ones over there. So I'm using these ones at the moment. These are the ones that have all been, had cuts out of them. They haven't. Now we have to have a cutting board because to do this, um, I'm actually going to come on to doing the house. No, I won't. I'll do the shed. I'll do the shed. I can't use this piece of paper because I cut a telegraph pole out in it and it's so it's ruined the line. Uh, that one's no good. I can't use that one because when I did the trees, I come on to it. So what I've got to do is get now this sheet of paper I can yep I can use. I cut the house out there. See, finger comes through. But to do the shed now, 
I'm going to cut up the side. The side goes neat along the edge. But then I'm going to come down the roof of the shed. I'll just nip in there and then I will come in and cut but overlap onto this corrugated board here. And I will also overlap into the path. I'll show you now. Where's my bag? This is my equipment for my paper towel. All the bits in here are what I use when I'm at paper towel. So I'd, usually this is all left in my car, but being as I was going to show you what I'm doing, I've brought it in so you can show you a little look. This is a glue we use, silicon glue. Ordinary plumber's silicon glue. So I'll need that out, but most of the cutting we do with a craft knife. I have one of these nice on the hands where I've getting arthritis in the hands. You've got to be careful, they're very sharp. Most of the ones you can buy are these ones, the metal ones. But I like this one. And it has the cap to protect the blade. So what I'm going to do now is as I said, with the roof, I'd, I've got to have that whole roof on, so I will neatly cut down it. That's slow. Sometimes I use scissors if it's um, a long run to do. That's that there. Then I'll go like that because there's the roof goes in slightly there and I'm coming down here because that's the side of the roof but then I'm going to come out here because this roof has got an extent this has got like a lean to on it and I'll go to there then I'm going straight down here into the fence but I'm only going that far into the fence because now I'll come across here. We call this borrowing from the next piece, is what we do. Now then, I will come down here. I'll go straight through there onto the green and then I'll cut across it like that. And this is where I use my scissors. Others don't, they use the knife, but on a longer run, I use my scissors. And now I'm just going to cut down here. Right. This is not lifting right off, so it means it's not quite cut through there. Just put the knife in. That is not quite cut through there. So you just gently dib in with the knife. There we go. We don't want that bit in there. And there we go. Yeah, a wee bit of white on there, we'll take that off. And there's my shed. The next thing we do is, I've got to move my paints, brushes. I'm going to be wanting it over there. The next thing we do, you can use your scorer like that if you like but I find 
the best thing to use for that. Come on, where are you? Hold on. Here we go. I use one of my little silver spoons. And I just run that along the edges like that. It presses the edges back down a lot better than... And I just do that all the way around. And there we go. That's fine. That's cut. So, and now what I have to do is we always colour the edges. So, I've got all my pencils over here. We use... I've got a lot of stamping up ones. That's not a stamping up one. We use these pens. Stamping up right and... On this end... It has a very fine nib. And this end is the bigger nib. And this is the end we use. And all I do is go along the edges like so. All the way round. Usually I put my... the this side facing me because I've done it on a bit here I've run over with the pen but at the moment I'm not worrying about that because I'm covering that so it doesn't matter so as I say keep it so you've got it like that your clear side onto your thumb and then just do the edges and all the way up there and down there And there we are. Now that's my shed cut. 